Hi everyone, this is Ming Zhou, and today um, it's going to be my pleasure to introduce to you Assets, an uh, innovative method for detecting backdoor sample in multiple deep learning paradigms. So entry and learning where model a, trans, uh, a train on scratch on the label data set has been long-standing preference with the deep learning area. However, it's drawback evident. The labor-intensive task of labeling data is not just costly, but it's also fraught with potential inaccuracy and mislabels. Additionally, training the model from scratch incurs significant computation and time overhead. In response to these challenges, alternate training paradigms such as self-supervised learning and transfer learning has gained popularity in recent times. Uh, so self-supervised learning, where the model is first portrayed on the unlabeled data to get the feature representation, and then fine-tune use a smaller labeled data set. This training paradigm drastically reduced the reliance on the large labeled data sets, and in the recent years, SSL has achieved remarkable strides in the performance, as demonstrated in this chart. SSL trained model accuracy on the ImageNet1K classification task has improved from mid-50s to almost 90% in the past four years. Uh, as the complexity of model growth and the number of parameters increase, the cost of training become an increasingly pressing concern. As demonstrated in the following charts, model training overhead are, pro are projected to double approximately every six months. As a consequence, the computational resource and time required for training in such a big model will be impossible for the majority of researchers. Fortunately, with the emergence of the platform like Hugging Face or Give PyTorch Heart, uh, researchers can now effortlessly download this pre-trained model and fine-tune them on smaller data sets to perform exceptionally well on specialized tasks. Despite the emergency of a variety of training paradigms, backdoor attack poses a threat to all of them. By inserting backdoor sample into the training data, the attack can be embedded into any deep learning model. And the right circle, right circle here shows where the backdoor sample may exist. Uh, in the entry and supervised learning, the attacker poisons the label data set used, uh, used to train a model from scratch. And for supervised learning, the attacker could implant backdoor sample in the unlabeled data set. And in the transfer learning, the fine-tuned data set can also be poisoned to make the model have backdoor. However, current backdoor sample detection technique were primarily designed for end-to-end -end supervised learning. Both the self-supervised learning and transfer learning are unexplored domain for backdoor sample detection. Uh, here's a feature of some popular backdoor sample detection methods. As we can see, some of them can work with, even with unlabeled data, but none of them specifically designed for self-supervised learning data sets. Consequently, their performance fell short of meeting unique requirements presented by multiple training paradigms. To address this significant shortfall, we develop assets, advanced, adaptable backdoor sample detection methods that can seamlessly align with a range of training paradigms. Uh, let's first introduce the threat model F asset. Uh, we first consider an attack, attacker who can create a poison training data set, but poison a portion of the training data. And after that, we will get the poison training data set, and the defender have access to this full poison training data set. Additionally, the, attack, uh, the defender has a clean, unlabeled, small base set to support the detect, uh, poison sample detection. And the defender goal is to reliably identify the backdoor sample in the training data, so it can be removed before training to mitigate the attack's impact. This is a challenging task since the backdoor are intentionally designed to be tricky to be detected. Uh, most parallel arts detect backdoor sample by analyzing property of the victim model, like the, their embedding and their activation, their gradients, and the output to expose anomaly uh, induced by the poison data. Uh, but assets introduce a new approach to detect backdoor sample across learning paradigm. The key idea is to actively induce different model behavior on the clean and poison samples. So let's see how we achieve this objective step by step. First, we, we will in initialize the model. At this moment, the model will have the exactly same loss output for both clean and poison image. 
Next, we first minimize the loss function on the clean base set. Due to the similarity between the clean base set and the clean training image, the model will output lower loss value for the clean samples. And after that, we will maximize the loss function on the poison training set, same as before, due to the independent distribution of the clean base set image and the poison training image. The model push up higher loss value for backdoor sample rather than the clean samples. Uh, now let's move through this two-step optimization. The loss difference between clean and poison sample will be larger and larger. And finally, clean sample will have a lower loss value and uh, poison one will have a very high loss value. This makes them separable for detection. And this novel upset optimization approach allow ISAT to de reliably detect backdoor across different backdoor types. One interesting aspect of asset is the two-step optimization uh, can suppose, uh, support any, almost any kind of loss function, uh, which enable asset to support any learning paradigms. Uh, in the deployment, we design a variance loss to minimize all sample in the clean base set. This loss calculates the variance of the largest output from the model on the given input samples. Uh, minimizing this loss flattens the largest distribution, while maximizing this loss will increase the variance. This loss applies broadly since it's only leveraged the model's sales output. And this design also makes a clean image offset across all class outputs, thereby amplify the distinction between the poison and clean data. Uh, well label information available, such as in the self uh, supervised learning we can also change the maximization loss into the cross-entropy loss to improve detection performance. The cross-entropy loss slowly impacts the target class itself, so which ensures the maximization process is confined within the poison target class, thereby enhancing the overall performance of backdoor de detection. And here's the full algorithm of assets, uh, the minimization step and the maximization step. Uh, but here, we're not directly using the poison mini batch. Uh, we designed one more step called the poison concentration. And the use of the, or we use the sample from the poison concentration to do the maximization. The reason is that when the poison ratio is extremely low, uh, or we can say only a small fraction of the data is being poisoned. Uh, in this case, poison samples are rare in the mi every mini batch, and the effect of maximization is diminished as it's primarily seen the clean samples. However, if we deploy the poison concentration and return a batch of, uh, with larger proportion of poison sample, and it will strengthen the offset to make it work again. Uh, the poison concentration uh, used the model embedding and replaced the original classification layer with the simple 1D output fully connect layer and used such modified model to make another two-step optimization which set the base set BCE loss to zero and the poison BCE to one. Uh, this will be considered as another offset um, and since this only need uh, back propagates through the 1D fully connect layer, so it will be super fast. And after we get the sample from the inner loop, we can rank it them by uh, adjust outlineness to project them into the static threshold. So we can use a, st a static threshold to decide which part of the data we should pick and which part we should discard. Uh, after we successfully separate the clean and poison sample based on their loss value, we still need to find out the threshold. Uh, like we still need a threshold to, to decide which part of data we should discard and which part we should keep. Uh, in the pre previous R's, they will assume a poison ratio empirically, like uh, maybe 5% or maybe 10%, uh, and direct, uh, directly discard this part. However, in the real attack scenario, this empirical based assumption always fails due to the variety of poison ratio in different attack scenario. Uh, in asset, we fix this problem by, by going the distribution of clean sample distribution, and we first remove the top 50% of the highest loss samples, uh, which fill out the poison under the assumption that attacker can only poison less than 50% of data. Uh, it then fit a single Gaussian to remain clean data. And threshold same, 
sample using the density of this Gaussian. This avoid improper modeling imbalance class and this threshold can preserve as most as possible clean sample. And this adapt adaptive GIM provide a principal way to threshold the loss for identifying backdoor without splitting the clean data, enhancing um, the asset detection performance. Here we also have some metrics to quantify the detection performance. In upstream task, we use TPR and FPR to depict how well the detection is. And in the downstream task, we use ASR and ACC to show how well the defense is in each model. Uh, here is the result from end to end supervised learning. The blue box shows where the ASR is under 20%, and we can say the attack effect has been diminished. And across seven representative attack, uh, asset gets the highest average TPR and the lowest FPR. In downstream performance, asset is also the only defense which can produce effective protection, uh, even with the most advanced uh, cleanable backdoor attack narcissus, which only have 0.05% poison rate critically. In the self-supervised learning, ASAT delivers the first practical backdoor detection across three attack on unlabeled data set. And this is all the attack I can find in the self-supervised learning area. Um, ASAT provide more than 95% of TPR and only 0.5 FPR on average. After asset detection, the downstream model accuracy is preserved while the attack success rate is reduced up to 98%. And for transfer learning, the asset, asset improved detection accuracy by 33% compared to previous art, and 97% TPR and 0.3 FPR across four attacks. Although the data is labeled in transfer learning, but due to the embedding are less separable for backdoor in fine tuning compared to the end to end learning, many existing methods suffer performance decline of over 50% in TPR, where they apply to fine tuning versus training from scratch. And we also have some interesting ablation experiment result. We test the multiple trigger attack. In this situation, like multiple backdoor has been implanted to the model and in the different class. And we can say like SS still got a very good TPR. And even in the worst case, we get more than 85% FP TPR. And we also test other learning domain like the NLP. Here we use uh, uh, SST2 data sets and asset get the ASR reduced to almost 10%, 10 which is close to the clean model. And as a conclusion, like asset support different loss design to achieve the detection under multiple training paradigms. And comprehensive experiments show the asset effectiveness against diverse backdoor attack under self-suffice and transfer learning setting. Unlike prior arts, as I maintain the high accuracy across variance poison rates, uh, and uh, as I can also be, e be easily to deploy into other learning domain like NLP, but we will encourage further work to do maybe in the middleware detection or maybe in the audio backdoor or something. Yeah, and thank you everyone. Uh,